Jacks, Tom Parsons with the aces. Hey, I'm Tom. I am 25 years old and I'm a Platinum Pass winner. Yeah, it was um, my first real live poker experience outside of the UK Student Poker Championships. So being able to like go away, meet everyone from the Twitch community at Lex Live 2 was already like the highlight and the goal of the trip. When we got there at the start of the, I think it was the first or the second day, they had bingo cards. On the bingo cards there were tasks and some of them were poker related, some of them were fun related, like take a photo with the Lex cutout and there would be a prize for someone. We go through to the day, everyone's sitting in the room and we go, huh? There's cameras in here, that's odd. In walks Lex, platinum pass in hand. Everyone had completed about, I think it was nine or 10 of the 13 tasks were put forward into a flip out. You won your table and you made it to a final table of six. And I ended up winning with queen high. And I realized at that moment that I just won a platinum pass for $30,000. So <laughs> right after I'd won, I should probably tell my mum, like, she knows that I'm over in London, doesn't really know much about poker, doesn't really know what I'm doing. So we thought it would be a great moment to call her on loudspeaker and get her reaction of what was going on. And she was like, what? It's like, oh no, I've won you know, a 30,000 package to go to, I think it was Barcelona at the time. I won 26K package to Barcelona next year. I, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like me for free, no money, didn't gamble anything. <laughs> Do you believe in me now? And I even remember after the phone call, like I got home and I was getting a lift from my mum from the taxi back to the airport. And she's like, can you explain it to me one more time? Of course, the original plan was I'll graduate in sort of like May time of 2020. And then I'll have sort of four or five months where I can play full time, really sort of try and get better than I was to go to Barcelona with the best opportunity possible. So of course they're supportive. Yeah, it's only gonna be four or five months of playing poker full time. They already knew I was like earning my way to pay for rent. I was streaming, I was getting a side income, doing all these things at the same time. It got postponed. And of course I'm going, great, I can play full time for another year. And they're going, oh, can you read, is poker sustainable? And I'm like, trust me, yes. It gets postponed by another year. But by the time that next year started, I just got my first contract to be signed as a professional player. So I think that kind of helped remove doubts. It was even if this all was a joke, if it wasn't happening, maybe Tom is not that bad. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's being like relatively successful and being able to sort of get a contract, get signed and provide like that little bit of extra sort of security, especially financially, was something that was really beneficial to me. And it definitely helped support me over these last two years now in the lead up to what is now and where we are, the Bahamas. It was definitely one of those trips that I realized that once I got moved from Barcelona, it was just, that's what I dreamed of in 2019. When I wanted a pass, didn't get one. And it was, again, it was like the full, it's come full circle. It's like I'm meant to be here. And now that I am here, it's been just like the most ridiculous trip so far. Welcome to the Bahamas and the PokerStars Players No Limit Hold'em Championship. Yeah, the day was actually, it was really swingy. Uh, as I said earlier, I got it off to a good start. Ace-King suited versus Ace-King suited, and I drilled the flush on the turn. It was up and down. I had a tough table, lots of people talking, a couple of people taking a bit longer than they should have on decisions. It just made for a really weird dynamic on the table, but I was slowly able to sort of accumulate chips. Small pot by small pot, found aces against a short stack. Sam Greenwood then sat down to my left, but thankfully not for long. He was a lovely guy to meet. I've ended up going through with 228k into day three. We are not far from the money, so hopefully I can take the confidence from today into tomorrow. We have another platinum pass winner, I think so. Tom from Northern Ireland. No. Ooh, okay. Aces versus Jacks. Tom Parsons with the Aces. Come on, Fred. You got this, buddy. Get that, Fred. So good. Take out, please. Take out, Boom. That is good.
going to be a double up for Tom Parsons. Let's go. Another Three. Platinum Pass winner okay, survives Tom. for now Tom as we continue hand-for-hand hand play. Tell me, how does it feel just being in the money in this tournament? It's kind of crazy. In some ways, I'm obviously like over the moon. But now that the adrenaline's run off after the bubble, and especially after my double <laughs> on the bubble, um, I still feel quite good. I've just kind of got a short stack, so there's not too much pressure. It's a lot of the spots are standard. Got to have a go on feature table. Hopefully, I'll be back there later. But it's been an, an enjoyable experience so far, and I'm definitely not trying to psych myself out too much. <laughs> it's kind of crazy today. I know it sounds almost like ironic, but it was quite simple until the last while. I was sub 20 big blinds, well below average, usually like a third of average all day. So it was just a lot of like all in, full, trying to re-steal, just stuff that like bread and butter of most poker players. Um, and it wasn't until the last sort of hour, hour and a half that things really started to pick up. It's weird, like I do feel like quite confident even playing against these guys. It's very different to like the 150 Euro events <laughs> I play in Dublin with the guys, but uh, I don't know, it just it feels kind of natural to play against these guys. Um, I can just sort of be confident in things that I've studied, play the way that I've practiced, and so far it's working out. Of course, a lot of the time you just get it in good and you hold. <laughs> There's not much practice, just luck. A little birdie told me that the car needs replacement. <laughs> no, <so. laughs> yeah, I refuse. My car is great, it's older than I am, and it passed this MOT, so it's fine. Kind of. You don't need airbags if you don't crash. <laughs> are, there, are there any things you do dream of? I don't know. I mean, a house would be nice. <laughs> a house would be nice. I don't know. A cat tower for my cat. That'd be pretty good. He was going to get from Christmas, but he's really lazy. He doesn't really climb anything. So I don't know. But like, I don't know. There's nothing that's like a big purchase. Do you know what I mean? Just the idea of, I don't know, life changing money. <laughs> Ace never folding here yet. A call. And so Tom Parsons is the at risk player. Tom Parsons is behind. And as you highlighted, Scott, Tom Parsons has one out. A queen was folded pre. Turn card is the five of spades. So no additional outs. Only one card saves this platinum pass winner. Tom Parsons needs the case queen on the river. Such a terrible feeling. It's an eight. Tom Parsons is eliminated. We are down to 15 players. He played a good game, and Tom Parsons has cashed for $165,600 for an investment of $0. I feel really good. <laughs> like I do, I genuinely feel really good. It was a great score. A cooler to end it, but that's okay. I mean, I had aces against jacks on the bubble to stay alive, so there's no complaints for me. I ran so pure for the last four days. It was down, it was gonna come down to an all in at some point, a big pot, chip lead, whatever. Um, I, so that's a, it's crazy, it's 160K. Well, first things first pay out the people who have percents in me. Make sure I get rid, get rid of all the money I owe people. It was Spraggy $400 when I arrived at the hotel because my card was getting declined on the bank machines. So I went into my stars account to send them it and I got locked because I was trying to access it from here. So I was like, ah, I hope I can get in. <laughs> like, and then yeah, like just send 3% to everyone who was on the Lex Live final table with me. Send the 1% to people who had swaps. It's exciting. It's nice, I get to like share the love. <laughs> Do you consider this life-changing money or yeah. is this... 100%. It's increased my net worth by like five times or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of money for me. Yeah. <laughs>